Hello everyone and welcome back to another day of Road to TCG Worlds 2016. Um, we'll, we've had a pretty rough couple of days in both the English video and the Spanish video, honestly. Seems like we're up against a Night March deck with my Lodic support. So in theory, this is a very good matchup. I hope the game allows us to to get some nice draws in order to to beat my opponent's deck. That is a pretty nice hand, I guess. Probably one of the best hands <laughs> I've had since I started recording and especially because lately PTCGO has been giving me pretty terrible hands and it's also been disconnecting me so it's been a very frustrating couple of days when trying to record the videos for this series and it's definitely not made it for an enjoyable experience now sorry I have something in my eye but let's see here my hand is pretty good I wouldn't like to discard the crowbat but it's not the end of the world whatever I top deck I can probably discard in order to get a manectric play it on the shaman and I can even use the sycamore because I will have the super rod and I still will have the gold bats now my opponent has played quite a few cards we did see he discard I believe two Lysanders and yeah two Lysanders and a verse seeker so that's very good news for us he only has three night marchers in the discard pile two of them are in play so <laughs> I was I promise you when I was saying we can discard whatever I draw, I swear, I honestly swear I was going to say and we are probably going to top deck a verse seeker because we have a sycamore in hand. I swear. Okay, so let's discard the sycamore, discard the crowbat, let's get a manectric. Now I don't think we'll be able to get a KO this turn. Unless we get a muscle band, we could KO the Fibas, which would be pretty funny, honestly. But I'm not really counting on it. Getting another gold bat is great. Also, uh, another two bat, sorry. We're also gonna see the gold bat count, which that means one is prized. So now I'm not so sure I want to get rid of this one, but I think it's still fine. Now I do get the escape rope. Important question here is will I draw an energy? And what would I rather discard an or KO rather a Night Marcher or the Feebas? I think the right answer is the Feebas, which means I probably should not have picked the escape rope, but I think damaging Feebas on the bench would also be pretty nice. So I am going to play it. He'll probably promote Pomkabu. I would imagine. I won't be countering his stadium. So there's no risk of that. He didn't get too much of an explosive turn. And he still needs uh, six more Night Marchers in the discard pile in order to KO my Manectric. He's really thinking through the his two possibilities. He does bring up Pomkabu, okay. That is honestly what I expected. Now I'm gonna try and reuse Shaman here. But honestly, I'm tempted just not to use Shaman actually. Because out of three cards, what could we draw that could possibly help us? The Muscle Band and Energy. But we could also draw Crowbats and Gold Bats, which we don't want to see. I'm gonna use it still. Okay, wow, so absolutely the best cards we could have drawn, actually. Might even consider just not using the Sycamore. And wow, okay, so the deck is really compensating for what I've gotten before. Okay, let's see, what do I want? A super scoop up? It would be nice to have the AC already. And it would help me out next turn. 
and I could still just KO the the Feebas here. I am going to take a KO on Feebas because um that shuts down a late game choice for him and as long as I don't KO a Night Marcher, that just means he has more trouble getting enough Night Marchers into his discard pile. Now, I put the 20 damage on Joltik. Why is that? Because I only have one gold bat. Well, I do have the AC, so it doesn't really matter. But if I didn't have the AC, this is why I chose Joltik over Pumpkaboo. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter, actually. It literally makes no difference. I think. Okay, he plays a Hex Maniac, so now it does make a difference. But he won't be KOing Manectric, I mean that's for sure. He prevents a turn of Colbat drops, he Night Marches for 60 damage, and since he has so many Night Marchers in play, there's no risk of him KOing us. Now I took get a level ball here. So, I can I win next turn? Can I take 4 prizes next turn? Okay, if I do 40 and 20, that's 1. I just need 3 prizes, right? If I evolve 1 Colbat, that leaves a Crobat drop for next turn. And with the AC, 2 Colbat drops. So I would need an energy. Or no, because I will be damaging. So I'm gonna evolve, disregarding the fact that I don't get to place any damage counters due to Hex Maniac. And I could Lysander. No, I don't want to give him another, like, two Night Marchers. I'm gonna save it. I will give him this Joltik. I don't think that'll allow him to KO. That's four, so he needs two more in order to KO us this time around. He top decks the Sycamore, of course, the way he played it. And that's another one, two, three. Well, a Megaphone. Okay, that's not too important. One, two, three, four, five. He plays a Battle Compressor. So he will KO Manectric, but he's already played a Supporter. So, we have the KO on these two Joltics, and we will be able to attack for free, so we have the KO on this Pumpkaboo. So, no matter what, we will be taking three prizes next turn. And that, if my opponent doesn't bench another Pokémon, that means we win. That really means we win. So, my opponent got quite unlucky. His deck stalled out a bit. But um, that second Shaman was absolutely beautiful. I mean, we would have drawn the cards anyways with the Sycamore, but it just made everything a lot faster, to be honest. Now, he got rid of two Night Marchers and a Battle Compressor. So, if he doesn't pinch anything, that is game. He will play an Ultra Ball. Probably for a Shaman. So, that's definitely not the card we wanted to see. <laughs> I just wanted to win next turn. But, that's not going to be the case. He might drop another Feebas. Although, he should definitely be scared of the Crobat drops here. Having three bench Subats is so key. That's so, so amazing. And I'm really happy we got all of this out quickly. I mean, we will be down to just one prize, and his attackers are Night Marchers. Shaman doesn't really scare us. So whenever he tries to attack, he'll simply get KO'd. Okay, and I top deck another Crobat. So, Crobat, KO Joltik. That's one price. We are powering up his attackers, but that's perfectly fine. Oh, 
Hmm. Yeah. 20 damage here. That's a KO. That's an energy. That's a very nice card. Now we AC the Crobat. We promote Goldbat. We bench the Subat. We bench this Goldbat. We put the damage onto Joltik. And we do that. We get the super scoop up. Do we want the super scoop up? Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Gonna play it, try to reuse Shaman, I guess. It would be really nice to get a Manectric this turn. That would be just the icing on the cake, and we will get it. Wow. So I'm gonna discard these two. Don't really need a second Crobat. And wow, this was just the most absolutely perfect turn. I can still retreat. I could take the KO with Goldbat actually. And I think that's better just to force him. I mean, if he wants to KO Manectric with a Night Marcher, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. But the better play, if we weren't so far ahead, would be to do this exactly because um, if he wants to take a KO next turn on Manectric, he needs Lysander, Floatstone or Escape Rope, a Night Marcher and a DC. That's four cards. If I promoted Manectric, that would only be the way to retreat an energy or a DC and uh, a Night Marcher. So um, the more cards you force your opponent to need, the better. And uh, having a Manectric powered up also allows you to have another win condition. I mean, all his attackers are pretty weak to a uh, Golbat Crobat drop potentially, or a Crobat. Oh, excuse me, or a Crobat plus an extra attack. But um, if he used something like Judge or something like that, um, we also have the opportunity to to use Manectric. So just a safer play. I mean, at this point, uh, doing this probably makes it so we win 100% of the time and doing the other thing, like in extreme worst case scenarios, it probably means we win 99% of the time. There's that one bizarre scenario where he judges and I draw nothing and he just goes off and Lysander's Manectric and the, or rather Chaos Manectric and then Lysander Shaman for game. That could happen, but um, by doing what we just did, we reduce the odds of that happening even further. Now, he's going to Verseeker for a teammate, so he probably gets a KO here on Goldbat. His hand is pretty big, but we simply, I mean, he saw us pick up the Crowbat, so he must know we have it. And that just means game. There's the... See? He would have gotten a KO on Manectric if I had promoted that. And maybe his first seeker could have been a Judge. And with the Judge, we might have drawn Ultra Ball, Dimension Valley, um, Lysander, and an Energy. So that would have really put us in a bad position. Whereas by doing this, we have the Manectric back up. He only takes one prize. That means he still has to KO two EXs. And um, we have the Manectric alive. So both plays are good, but one is definitely better than the other. I mean, just by mention, just by that situation alone, I'm really glad I got to record this video because. It's things like that that will differentiate the best players from the good players. You can be a really good player, you can be an extremely amazing player. But if you can even look past beyond the obvious and do plays like that, that will really put you ahead from, from the rest. Because when you're up against another really good player, um, that just means... like. It's the tiny little differences like that that really put you over the edge. 
and might help you win a game. Now here I just, <laughs> after all of that uh, talking, I just surprised by KO the FIBAs and that's game. But my opponent, after we did what we did last game, he really, he really didn't have much of a chance to be honest. I mean, especially after he he got stuck in the middle of the game. If you want to beat the, this deck, you have to be able to KO three Xs back to back in order to make sure the price trade-off is is good because I will be taking free prizes with my Crobat line. And wow, that's pretty funny that Manectric is the the card featured in the ladder and we are using the a Manectric deck. <laughs> If I had planned it out that way, it probably wouldn't have worked out. But we're finding another battle. It's a dark, psychic, colorless deck, so probably Mega Mewtwo Y. So this should make for a very interesting game, actually. This matchup is hard because even though we do use a low amount of energy, uh, Mega Mewtwo still has a lot of HP, and with starting hands like this it, <laughs> it really gets challenging to to do stuff now he starts with the worst possible starter who pay x we're up against the real j not the fake j but the real j and that her he has on his avatar is pretty funny <laughs> but focusing on the game he plays a trainer's mill plays a battle compressor so we will probably see a discard of perhaps a supporter, um, some basic darkness energy potentially. <sighs> uh, yeah, two darkness energy and another bow compressor. That probably means he does have a supporter. If he doesn't have a supporter, then not discarding a supporter is a mistake. Yep, that's a mistake. Why? Because you really want to to open up your options for the late game. Or rather, to get out of the bad situation you're in. So if you discard a Sycamore, sure, you reduce the odds of you getting a Sycamore next turn. But you also open up the possibilities of drawing versus Seeker to get yourself out of that position. Therefore, in the end, making it so that your odds of getting out of the position are higher rather than lower. I'm sure you guys get it. I'm sure you guys are very smart and you get what I'm saying. Um, there might be another reason why my opponent simply opted not to, but I don't think there is a valid reason not to do that. Now we're getting a pretty ideal hand to be honest. I don't think I want to bench the other Shaman could have gone for a gold bat instead of the third Subat, but I really like the flexibility that you get with th with three Subats. Now, I don't have a supporter. Well, I do have a Lysander. But I'm gonna get the Headringer, and I'm gonna keep it in my hand, because that might make him think twice about playing another another Pokemon EX, or because he only has an active he might be forced to play it and I'm in no hurry to KO it and by getting it that just means I guarantee I pretty much guarantee the win and yeah there my opponent concedes so let's find another <laughs> battle because that one obviously does not count does count towards the Manectric EX though now today would be Wednesday the 29th still not the first um for the for next year you will see a change in the sidebar down below or rather where my face is right now <laughs> and where tableman is and the pokemex logo is um you will definitely we will be seeing a, a more aesthetic uh, as, as blah, blah, aesthetically pleasing um sen scene i guess yeah a more pleasing scene to look at. I did work on the graphics on my channel. Uh, in this time off I got off from work and things like that. So I hope you will like the changes. And there will be a 
an important message in the in the new scene which I will I guess spoil it for you guys it will say um, please consider disabling ad block for this video so that you show your in order to support the channel that's the message I want to give to you guys um, the channel is growing it's growing a lot and between everything I have to do in my life um, it really it really helps that the channel grows and really um, how can I say it it shows that the time the huge amount of time I'm putting into a channel is worth it not only to you guys but to me as well so I'm yeah I ad block I know ads are very annoying I, I know that I have ad block myself but I do have it disabled in the pages such as YouTube where I know people um, like not just myself other big youtubers other poke tubers um, they really put effort time and effort into the into the channel into their channels into their videos and things like that and wow we're apparently up against a mirror match um, and I hate ads as much as the next guy but um, disabling them helps support them and for a 30 second video I can I get to see more of their content and it, it applies the same to me so if you enjoy the content if you like what you see um, please consider it I'm not asking you to do it just consider it if if you want to show your support that way to a channel that's amazing if you are already using YouTube Red that's also great because that supports me directly once you watch my videos so having said that the message will be there it's not a big message or anything it will just display in every video so if you don't like it just ignore it you don't even have to look at it it doesn't interfere at all with the playing scene okay so now this is a very interesting old trouble or rather trainers males options here but I think the right play I'm probably going to lose a Zubat here anyways and I don't want to bend shaman so gonna choose the sycamore I'm not going to attach an energy uh, there's no point in playing the super scoop pop unfortunately and wow I got the worst possible cards ever literally oh this is the last thing you want to see in a mirror match come on two verse seekers more with the sycamore the stadium no manectric two energies i already discarded an energy yeah and he got the perfect manectric lightning Ugh. <laughs> He did this card to Sycamore. Is this our list? Like it has a judge. <laughs> I mean, I'm not claiming that I am the owner of the list or anything. I'm just going to skill dive here. Yep, I know I have no energy attached. Just going to skill dive. Uh, am I really going to have to Sycamore once more next turn? Getting rid of Verse Seekers and three energy will be in the discard pile. Three freaking energy. He will take a KO, have 40 damage on a Zubat. Yeah, this is probably very close to game. Probably very close to game. He even has the other energy. Wow, it's like we get one really good game and then it all goes to heck. There's no reason for him to have done 160 damage. Overrun would have KO'd just fine and he would have had 20 more damage in play. Which could, <laughs> could potentially make a difference. Now I'm gonna Sycamore here. And still no Manectric or no Ultra Ball. We are halfway through our deck. And still nothing. <laughs> ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. 
if I could power up a manectric here with a muscle band maybe maybe things wouldn't be so bad maybe that's a really really big maybe I might even be forced to Lysander up the Wofet and <laughs> attack the Crobat on the bench this is just pathetic <laughs> this is really pathetic but it's gonna just what I'm gonna have to do to try and get myself into the game I see no other way at least he's not drawing cards either does play a level ball for a Zubat gets a trainer's mail that was probably his prize or his top deck along with a level ball bet you we see a Sycamore or a Verseeker here a super scoop bop so I hope he plays it right now please play it please 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 play it play the super scoop up Play the super scoop up. Play the super scoop up, please. Oh, he's not gonna play it. I still have to do the Lysander play. But now he has a 50 50 chance to get out of it. Which we definitely don't like. <laughs> and I get another energy. What is this? An Ultra Ball, a Manectric. Nah. Okay, gonna put three damage counters onto my neck trick. I'm going to Lysander the Wolfhead. I like that feature that I can select a Pokemon I want to Lysander. And I'm going to skill dive the Manek trick. So much skill in doing this. And there's going to be so much skill in the super scoop up he's going to play right now. So much skill. Pokemon is a game of skill. Zero luck. So obviously our incredibly good draws are amazing and his flips are all skill and that's why we're going to lose this mirror match. My opponent just outplayed me every single turn and yeah, when you have PTCGO in your favor, you run godlike. <laughs> One, two, three. Ah. Wow, an ultra ball. <laughs> Ridiculous, man. Not even. <laughs> Not even. Just gonna get rid of this. Wow, hello Manectric. Very nice of you to show up when my opponent is three cards off of three prizes off of beating me. Honestly, I'm just playing because I want to play, but there's no chance we win this game. <laughs> Absolutely no chance. Gonna do twenty there. Gonna retreat. All our Subats are dead too. <laughs> Don't attach the muscle band because um, because I don't want him to do 60, 120, 140 damage. Just 80 is fine. Thank you very much. And I do have the chance to recover with Super Scoop Up and get another KO perhaps or something. I mean, I do have a chance. I can also go for my last Crobat. Yep. Nope. <laughs> no Crobat left in the deck. Of course. Of freaking course. And he has a Psychic. <laughs> oh gosh. So he's gonna do 80. I need the head flips, the heads flip, but who wants to bet that I don't get the heads flip? I mean, seriously, guys, <laughs> let's be real here. Let's be real. He can even get a crowbat and KO my goal bat. 
So that would mean I can't even super scoop up. Gosh, he got a perfectly flawless game. And I got crap. I can't imagine him not getting a crowbat right now. I really can't. He hasn't played a single trouble. And he's down to less than half his deck. Yep, there's the old trouble. So that's game. Because now I can no longer super scoop up, recover, retreat, etc. etc. My only shot here is that he puts the damage onto my neck trick, which would be an absolutely terrible play. He's even going to get potentially two crowbats. Yep. Of course. Okay. So that just means I need to find another manic trick. I can retreat, I guess, for another manic trick. Put the 20 damage on manic trick. So he'll be down to a Lysander to win. He's discarding a lot of cards. He has one Lysander. Two Lysander, sorry. Two verse seekers. Wow. <laughs> so now I really need the super scoop up flip. Just to not lose. Because that manic trick is in trouble here. Okay. So, old trouble time. We get rid of the. Not the head ringer. Yes, the head ringer. And the other old trouble. I would like to get a. Okay, I get the other manic trick. Now, this flip is probably the flip of my life. Not really. <laughs> why, Pokemon, why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? Gonna draw five cards here, of course. Oh, come on. Come on. 50-50. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! There's hope, guys. There is hope. There is some hope. Overrun. KO Manic Trick. And then that guy is KO'd. That guy, everything is KO'd. So, gonna put the damage onto Golbat because we might be using Overrun a lot more. He has one card in his hand. What is it? Now, the Super Rod would be extremely nice. <laughs> Not gonna lie. There's the trainer's mail, which he top decked. <laughs> Gets the verse seeker, very nice, very, very nice. Now, if he gets an arm electric out, we'll be obviously in trouble. At least that means he only has one verse seeker left. Wow, he's going to judge. Okay, that's an interesting choice. Um, yeah. That's interesting. Get a muzzle band and a s lightning energy. He plays a super scoop up and of course he gets heads. So what w he's going to pile up the damage onto my neck trick. So I'm really going to need a Lysander to KO the wow fet. Oh gosh. We still have two verse seekers. Two very nice verse seekers. Yes, if we get the Lysander onto my neck trick. Yeah, he's kill dives. Onto Wolfhead, sorry. We need that verse seeker. Oh, thank you. Are we really going to come back in this game? Are we seriously? Seriously going to come back in this game? I mean, it's still not over because I will probably need my last verse seeker in order to to prevent this guy because he has 50 more damage plus a crowbat drop. That means I will need. Oh crap! That was really stupid. <laughs> Good job, Pablo. Good job. Benching a shaman just because. An escape rope, okay. 
Oh, <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. That was absolutely terrible on my part. Absolutely terrible. That was probably the worst move I could have done. Place a head ring around my shaman, that doesn't really matter. Bench is a gold bat, 80. Then does 30 more damage. That's 110. So he has a KO. So I need my last verse seeker not to be priced so that I can AC. And wow, benching that shaman was <laughs> so dumb. I could have two shamans, but I chose to have just one. <laughs> And he gets an electric, he will attach an energy. Yep. Yeah, I mean, the game is just playing with our feelings right now. It gave us false hope. <laughs> it really gave us false hope. Because, I mean, how many energy do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have two energy in play only, or left rather. He's down to Lysandering up the Shaman also. What is he thinking of though? He has the game one. I mean, we're playing it out because we saw a slim ray of hope. But of course he got out of his one card hand and he had all he needed. He does sacrifice Crobat. Okay. Trainer's Mail. Gets us a level ball, level ball. Do we have the verse seeker still left? Not gonna get the gold bats. And there's no verse seeker, so there's absolutely no way we win. Absolutely no way we win this game. Because of course the last, absolute last ray of hope Our, he has the crowbats, right? He flipped heads. Yeah, of course he flipped heads. He always flips heads. My opponents always flip heads. We don't even have an energy. I'm just gonna KO. And that's the game. Because he evolves, does 30 damage, and that's 120 exactly. <laughs> Man, Pokemon trading card game online is just... It's like... An evil girlfriend you can't quit it but it's so mean to you it's really so mean to you it literally ugh. why are you taking your time why why are you making us suffer I'm not going to concede just because you might misplay why did it take you one minute to choose crowbat to promote why seriously FC dash whatever numbers. Really? You flipped heads. You have the crowbat. Oh gosh, he doesn't have the crowbat. He's going to flip heads, isn't he? His third heads. His third heads. Three for three. What? What? He chose my neck trick. Why would he do that? Okay. He has the crowbat, doesn't he? Is he just playing with my feelings? Is he like the guy that my mean girlfriend is cheating on? What? He. What? We win? We seriously win? We lie under the shaman and win? What the heck? Just happened. He flipped heads. All he had to do was pick up Crobat. That's all he needed to do. He had to pick up Crobat, evolve Goldbat, 230, then 30 more, and win. What? the heck 
<laughs> I'm. How did we win? Oh gosh. <laughs> I'll be honest. This removes all credibility from testing on Pokemon Trading Card Game Online because it's like every we needed our opponent to do the worst possible moves in order for us to win that game and that's exactly what he did he flipped heads three times three super scoop ups we had so many energy in our discard pile so many verse seekers we got a manek trick until what turn five <laughs> i'm sorry but it really discredits <laughs> everything I'm doing, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. We won that game, we stole that game. I, I was just saying, I would really like to know the statistic of how many games we should have lost with stolen because of misplays. I really would love to see that statistic. But hey, I'm having fun. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, I hope you're learning, at least you're learning what not to do. And in the first game you did learn something pretty pretty good I guess. So yeah, <laughs> that will be all for today. Thank you guys for watching, please leave a like on the video, that really helps support the channel as well. And I'll be seeing you next year, bye bye.